exact economic toll of the pandemic is still hard to quantify, but few companies have come out unscathed. Many have faced some stark choices. Hello and welcome to the programme. This week on Business Planet, we're focusing on the EU's coronavirus support for small and medium-sized enterprises. We're in Finland to see how one company is flourishing after it got the help it needed to weather the COVID storm. Garden Living is a thriving horticulture business. Based near Helsinki, the company is a specialist in plants and garden products and offers a host of bespoke services, including landscape design. This year, business is blooming. But 12 months ago, when the pandemic struck and lockdowns came into force, things weren't so rosy. Eva, tell us a little bit about what it was like this time last year. Ooh, that was a very bad time. In March, all the orders to the restaurants were cancelled. And suddenly, in the same time, I had to pay all the bills for the starting gardening season. So everything was coming in, I had to pay bills. Just like hundreds of thousands of small business owners across Europe ever faced a liquidity crisis. Thankfully, she was able to get back on her feet and pay the bills with an EU guaranteed loan via her bank. How complicated was it to get the loan and were the terms attractive? Actually, it was quite easy. I called my bank and in two days we got a loan. The terms were fine. Eva's loan became possible after the European Investment Fund unlocked 8 billion euros to encourage banks to lend. More recently, the EU's 750 billion euro Next Generation Recovery Fund aims to help Europe's pandemic-stricken economy bounce back stronger. To find out more and what all this means for SMEs, we got some expert advice. Joanna, we've just seen one example of a firm here in Finland that was able to secure an EU guaranteed loan. For any other company still wanting to access this type of finance, what steps should they take? In fact, there is a lot of help available for SMEs interested in EU funding possibilities. For example, the Enterprise Europe Network provides companies advice on EU funding and helps the companies to find suitable funding instruments for their business. We're now seeing economies across Europe reopen. What other EU assistance will be available to help firms bounce back? Well, the EU's recovery fund will bring possibilities and additional funding for European SMEs, especially regarding the twin transition, in other words, the green and digital transition. Part of this funding is channeled to companies through different EU programs, and these programs will have higher budgets and they target in the renewal of SMEs. As for Garden Living, it's hoping to capitalise on blossoming demand. Ever, it's been a hugely challenging year, but you're looking ahead. What are your plans for the future? Despite the initial problems, we still grew last year with 12%. People stayed more at home and they wanted to improve their gardens and homes. And luckily this year, we have noticed that the companies also have started investing in plants again, and we aim to grow with 20%. That's it for this Business Planet. For more on the various EU schemes designed to help firms navigate the pandemic, head to our webpage. Thanks for watching and see you soon.